So I decided on this brushed metal preset for my grasshopper, but I reserve the right to change my mind. So having done this much setup, I think it's really cute to have your insect sitting in the hand. First, because you have a hand model, and second, because it's adorable. If you don't like that, that's fine. If you'd rather have your insect sitting in some other environment, you totally can. You do have some flowers. I, they may not necessarily be easy to texture, which is why I'm focusing on the insect and the hand. But, you know, be creative. This is your time to shine. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm actually going to delete the sky dome light for a minute. And I am going to go to the file menu, import. Now I put my hand folder around here somewhere. I think it's this one. Wait, there was another one. Let's see if it's this one. Oh yeah, no, this is the one that I didn't finish. So let's come in here and we'll try this one. That looks like a good one. And there's my hand. Okay. So I'm going to take this and rotate it and maybe scale it a little bit. Depends on how big you think your insect is. That looks pretty good. Having done that, my insect is obviously not sitting completely in the hand yet. So I'm going to go ahead and go to vertex mode, soft select the heck out of this, and just change it up a little bit so that this leg is on the ground. Maybe we'll move that in a little. Same thing here, move this up a little, back a little. You'll figure out a way to make yours look really good. I trust you. Your smart cookies, all of you. So let's get that there, maybe rotate it out a little. Pull it out a little. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Almost everybody's on the ground. Well, on the hand. E you're not. Okay. Good, good. Good, good. How about you? Where do you stand? Okay, very nice. So that's taken care of. Um, with the hand, I'm going to assign it to an AI standard surface material. We'll call this one Hand AIS. And I will assign the human skin material. The human skin material is a pain. I I really like it better than the wax material for wax, which should tell you a little something about the skin material. Uh, with the skin material, the big thing that you're going to be changing is under subsurface, where you will find that, um, let's just throw that light back into the scene. Physical sky, render, yeah, um, it looks like that. It will even out a little bit, but it does get kind of blue towards the extremities. So let me select the hand again, go over to the hand AIS, and as you adjust this color and this color, you will see a dramatic change. So let's just pull that down and pull that down. And you can make it look a little bit more like skin, although it's tough. And especially for something like a hand, where the palm is lighter than the back of the hand, it's pretty hard to navigate. So that's why what we're going to be doing is principally just making a camera blur effect so that people see less of the hand and focus more on the insect. You can change these colors too. These are not like skin color. Um, if you click on this, you get the full range of hues, saturations, and values. So feel free to go in 
and play with these two things to try to make the skin material look a little bit less terrible. Just a little bit, that's all you're looking for. So there are still a couple of big things that we need to change and one is that camera blur. So let me go ahead and close this view so that I get just back to here. What I'm going to do is go to create and I'm actually going to make a new camera and I'm not going to bother with any of the fancy cameras. We're just going to make a camera. Now it occurs to me that this is probably a really good place to break the video because um, you're probably all still positioning your insects on your hands. So go ahead, take a minute, do that. I will give you the time and when I come back, then I will talk about the camera.